All right, for this one, we are going to replace a broken ribbon cable on your gyro. You often hear me say barometer. Uh, its official name, as far as the part goes, is a gyro, gyroscope. Um, but you will always hear me call it a barometer. But anyhow, here it is in the Zeno, all hooked up. And if you can see, let me move back. I'll just pick it up. If you can see, there's not a lot of room in here to get at it. So to get at this, you definitely want to have some room. So I recommend you remove the board to get to it. So we have a board sitting right here. We have a broken cable and here's the other half. And then here's a new cable. So what we're going to do is remove the board from the Zeno, and at the end of this video, I will have a link to a thumbnail that tells you, to, explains exactly how to take everything apart, get your board out, how to take this off, how to unplug it and plug it. But today we're gonna to show you how to plug it back in and everything, so. Uh, towards the end of this video, look for that thumbnail link and you can click on it and it'll give you the rest of your instructions as far as how to uh, disassemble and reassemble. So what you're going to do is you're gonna remove a screw right here and a screw right here. And simply unscrew that. Unscrew that. This one's acting weird. It's like I gotta turn forever here and pull it off. So there's nothing to unplug here. It's already been taken off. But just to show you, that's where it was plugged in right there. Just like that board right there. So next what you're going to do is you're going to remove this screw and this screw, which I've already taken out. And you simply take the cover off. And now here's where you want to be careful as well. This little black piece, let me get something to point with here. This little black part right here and here it slides out and then when you slide that out it loosens up the grip on the cable and then you can pull it out so to do that you want to hold the board don't take this board out because it's glued to a sponge i call it a sponge but it's a piece of foam but do not take that out uh, unless you are replacing it um, it comes with a new one and it comes with the peel stick and then you can reapply it. But hold it like that in the back and then you're going to take your fingernail. Sorry, I don't have girly nails. Just had a manicure today. <laughs> I'm kidding. But you slide it out and I don't know if you could tell but it did slide out. So now you just want to take and pull the cable out. I don't know if these will grab it. Yeah. And slide it right out. So now we get this new one. And you want to slide it right back into the same place. And I find it's easier to put it back with the tweezers as well. Just be careful on that ribbon cable not to harm it. Because if you're put while you're pushing on it, it wants to bend a little bit. So with tweezers, it'll slide in better. You can hold it stiffer. So now it's back in. And now we just simply want to push the black tab back in place. And now it's holding it with a good grip and it's not gonna come out. That's how quick and simple that is. And you put your two screws back in here and then you want to remount it to your board. Now I'm going to mount it to the board first so it's nice and secure. And then we're going to plug it in. So 
So let's screw that back down. Okay, so now, I don't know if you can see, but this plug, the front of it right here where my thumb is, lines up perfectly with this metal frame. So you take this metal frame and you line it up with the plug. That'll get you in the general direction. And from there, you just kind of wiggle around and you'll feel it, you'll feel it snap. It just snaps right in. So move it around. Nothing ever goes right when you're videotaping or recording. There, I felt it. Nope. There, I don't know if you heard that little pop she snapped right in place and then as you can see like I said it's run it runs flush almost flush with this metal frame here so that's how you replace that and now you have a good barometer when you put this all back together get it all in the quad make sure you do your horizontal calibration uh, so that your quad doesn't fly erratically and then crash and create a new repair for you. So, like I said, right here at the end of the video, uh, click the thumbnail link and that'll show you how to take everything apart, how to put it all back together again. And uh, when you plug this back in to the board, you want to secure it with something. As always, I recommend that you take some liquid tape and you're going to dip it with a paintbrush I use and you simply just apply it on the edge of the plug just for a little extra assurance that it'll stay in place and not come unplugged on you. And uh, that's going to do it. So that is how you replace the broken ribbon cable for your barometer and uh, something like this these are very cheap all these all these extra cables they're very cheap um, meaning price wise they do not cost a lot of money so I recommend you keep stuff like this on hand and uh, keep it as spare parts so uh, if you're not a member of my RC Hobby Shopper, I'll put a whole bunch of links for a whole for a whole bunch of Xeno parts uh, within that group, and you just click those links, make your purchase, and uh, as always, those proceeds go to charity. So uh, that's where you can get them, or you can get them straight from Hubson. That's your choice, but uh, that's that's how you do the repair. And uh, thanks everybody for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thumbs up, and uh, we'll catch you on the next video. Thanks.